Right, so this is Peanut, he's going to be our model today. He is a, um, he's about a year old and he's a long coated golden hamster, he's a little boy. And I've had him for like a year now, I've had him since he was probably about 8 weeks old or so. So anyway, that's probably about the age pet shops will sell them, 8 weeks to 10 weeks old kind of age. So they're pretty much babies. But anyway, Peanut's quite a confident hamster as I have had him since he was rather young. But again, if you are like me, you've just gone to your pet shop, it'll usually come in a small box, like so. Obviously not like this one, but I'm just using it because it's a small cardboard box. If your hamster's inside this, um, do not handle him. You must, you'll you probably be advised by the pet shop to not handle him in the next 24 hours, but just to settle him in. So say this was my hamster's box, I'd place my hamster in, just leave the box in there for the next couple of days, and I wouldn't get my hamster out, I'd just open the flap and just let him come out. Um, this is just so he can settle in, because he's probably never been in a, like, a busy environment, especially if you have other animals, like dogs and cats around, they just need time to adjust and stuff. Whereas Peanut is very fully adjusted, so he is perfectly fine. So we can just show you some of the stuff Peanut can do. So, so you in the next two days, your little hamster's woken up and stuff. Um, in the next couple of days, if he's moving around in his other house and stuff, like, well, don't we say Peanut? <laughs> he's just gone in his little house. Oh, he's popped out again. But yeah, anyway, if he's coming in and out and he's not really using it anymore, you can just take it out and hamsters like to gnaw, so I won't leave this in there too long because I'll probably come back in an hour and it'll be destroyed. But he's having a right little nibble there. So this is great signs if you have a new hamster, even like he's having a little nibble and he's having these little sticks and stuff. So a great hamster um, that is fit and healthy should have bright eyes, um, well, you know, soft fur with no lumps missing or anything, and he should be very active, as um, Syrians are very active hamsters, and um, people always go, oh, hamsters so lazy. They are nocturnal, but it's just because I've woke him up at the minute, he's out and about, but um, he'll probably settle down and go to sleep and stuff. As I'm saying, this is just probably mainly a starter cage. Peanut does live in this cage. But um, soon I'm going to extend off of these. They're just like little windows, but they can extend into tunnels and then you can add other extensions and stuff. Um, I did say before in this video, but this is a fair plus cage. So if you type in fair plus on like internet or you look in your local pet store, they'll probably have like tunnels and extensions and stuff. Um, so you can make your hamster a little mini world. So right, I'll just show you, if I can grab it, right, Syrian hamsters can be a little shy at first, so it's best that it's probably mostly handled by an adult at first, as children can tend to grab and not realise if they're hurting the animal. Anyway, that's just a little tip. But next, I'm going to show you how to groom your hamster. Um, any hamster can be groomed, but it just if you have a long coated hamster, it's just ideal for your hamsters to be groomed. Just get the loose fur out. These are just like small rubber brushes. They are uh, very soft, or you can even use like a baby's brush or something. Just something very soft, so it's not going to really hurt them like a plastic comb or something would. So basically all you need to do is just brush like you're brushing a dog and it's just a great way to get all those knots out and when you're grooming you can also look for um, like signs if some hamsters like if they've got illnesses and stuff they use like lose like um, bumps out their fur. It's just a great way when you're grooming and handling just to check over your hamster just make sure he's okay make sure he's fit and healthy and if he's not obviously consult your vet. But um. Yeah, he seems great at the moment. 